now that we've learned a little bit of the theory, let's look at it in a real-time situation. Now remember, a circuit means a circle, and a circle has two sides. You have your power and your ground. In this illustration, we've set it up that this side is the power side, and this side is the ground side. Now you can have all kinds of different diagrams, parallel circuits, series circuits, and they can be a combination of these. So this is just a basic power and ground circuit. We've got our power on this side. We've got that with an alligator clip. We've got a connection. We've got a fuse. We've got a connection. And we've got a device or resistance or load, however you want to describe it. But this is what we're going to try and turn on. Now going to the ground side, we've got a connection, we've got a switch, we've got another connection, and we've got a connection with an alligator clip at the battery. Now we've got our DVOM mounted up here. We're going to turn it on on 40 volts. My choices are 40 or 4. But since we're on a 12 volt system, I need to be choiced up above the 12 volts, so I'm going to choose 40 volts. We've got this mounted up so that you can see it, and we've got our leads here that we'll be using. In addition to that, we're going to be using the power probe. We're going to test with both. The power probe is a very good and very popular tool out there, but there are some clear differences, so we're going to illustrate them. Now, on a very basic circuit, we have some type of protection device, the fuse, you've got your device, your load, and you've got a switch. Most electrical diagrams are drawn with the system at rest. That means the switches are in the open position. No current is flowing. Nothing is on. It's at rest. And that's what we've got now. Our switch is our only control device and it is off. So our light is not on. Now we're going to test with the DVOM. DVOM stands for Digital Volt Ohm Meter. Now we're going to take our two test leads, we're going to hook the red up to the positive, and we're going to hook the black up to the negative. And if you look at the voltmeter, we're reading 12.78 volts. Just a little while ago we fully charged this battery, so that's why we're reading 12.7. A good battery should normally read approximately 12.6 so this is a good battery. Now the normal way that you would test a system you can either test from the positive side or the ground side. Remember this is positive this is ground. Now we're hooked up to the battery I'm going to take the positive lead from the DVOM off and you'll see that we're going to go down to zero volts. Now we're going to go around the positive side of the circuit we're going to go to the connector. If you read the DVOM, we're 12 volts. We're going to go to the fuse. Both sides of the fuse, 12 volts. Go to the next connector, reading 12 volts. So we've got 12 volts all the way to the load. Now we're going to go past the load to the next connector and you'll see we're still reading 12 volts. We're going to go down to the switch. We're still reading 12 volts. Now remember the switch is off. The light is off. We go to the other side of the switch and we suddenly drop to zero volts which makes sense because the switch is off. Now we're going to put the positive back on the battery. We're reading 12.7 again and we're going to take the negative off and you'll see we drop to zero volts. So now we're going to test the negative side. Now remember the negative wire is attached to the negative side of the battery so we should still have ground over here and we've got power at the positive lead so when we connect here we should get 12.7 volts because we've now got ground and power. So we come up to the switch reading 12.7 but now we go to the other side of the switch and we're reading zero volts because there is no longer a ground there the ground that went from here through this connector to that's half of the switch so there's no ground connected 
Now in all voltage drop testing, you should always test the circuit with the circuit turned on. Now in this case, all we have is a light. So we're going to turn that light on. We've got our switch connected. It's a closed circuit and our light is on. Now we're going to retest and do a voltage drop test. Now I'm going to take the positive side off of the voltmeter. Remember the negative side is still attached so the voltmeter has a ground supplied to it. And the voltmeter basically is going to measure the voltage differential, the potential difference or the pressure difference between the negative and the positive. That's what this reads. So we're going to put the negative on the battery. We start at the battery. We've got 12.7 volts. We go to the first connector. We've got 12.7 volts. You can go to both sides of the fuse. 12.7. We can go past the fuse to the next connector. 12.7. Now that goes through the load. We go to the next connector on the opposite side and we're reading zero volts. We have dropped all the voltage. If we go back over here, we had 12.7 volts, full voltage. When we go to the ground half of the circuit, the ground side of the circuit, now we have zero volts. As we continue down through there, we have zero volts all the way to the battery. So this is a voltage drop test with the circuit turned on. We have full voltage before the load on the battery side of the load. And we have zero volts. We have dropped all the voltage on the ground side of the switch. That is an indication of a good circuit. If we had any kind of a reading over here, that means you did not drop all the voltage. That means you do not have a good circuit. There's a problem somewhere. Part of the voltage drop testing is to find out where that problem is. Now we're going to test the negative side of the circuit. So I'm going to take the positive and attach it back to the battery. And I'm going to take the negative off. But when we go to the battery, you can see that we're reading 12.6 volts. We go to the first connector, we're reading 12.6 volts. Now remember the circuit is on, the switch is on, so we're going to go to the far side of the circuit. We're reading 12.6 volts. 12.6 on that side, and we're reading 0 volts on this side. So it is just the opposite. When we were, had the positive connected to the positive battery post, but we're using the negative probe to test the circuit, we're removing the ground, the positive stays attached, so we're looking for a ground. Just like when you take the positive and negative and attach it to the battery, both together you read 12.7 volts, we take the negative <coughs> off of the battery and we start searching for ground. We find our ground, we get 12.6 volts. Just like when you touch here, you get 12.6 volts. So we're searching for ground. We find ground everywhere. We get 12.6 volts. We go through the load. And now we're reading zero. We have dropped all the voltage. The 12.6 volts has dropped completely to zero.